All right, Heidi, thank you. So for a lot of us, it's been months since we've stepped into a gym, but now a lot of people are incorporating a workout back into their morning routines. Kim joins us live at EOS Fitness with a trainer's expert advice on how to get back on track after you've been off for so long. So it's gonna be hard, but you can do this, Kim. Good morning. Amen, sister. Yes, Yetta. I can guarantee a lot of you that have even been working out still during this gym closure, maybe you've been working out at home, you haven't been doing the same movements that you would inside a gym with all the equipment here. So we're getting a first time look inside EOS as they have reopened. I've got Katie joining me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tell us a little bit about, first of all, some of the protocols and the procedures you have in place to keep everyone safe. Yeah, so right now we have a limited capacity, so we're only allowing 10% into the facility. And then we've kind of tripled our staff, so we have cleaning crews out on the floor all the time, just wiping and sanitizing wherever we can. And we're seeing a lot of people wearing masks. What's yep. that policy? Uh, so you have to wear a mask 24-7. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to wear a mask if you're working out vigorously? Say you're sprinting on a treadmill or you're doing some heavy deadlifts. Is it safe? Yes. Is it, is it the most comfortable? Not really, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, kind of like you would wear fitness clothes when you work out, same thing when it comes to your mask. So you want it to be really light, breathable, and really fit what you're doing. So if you know you're going to be doing sprints, you might want to wear something a little bit lighter than if you were running to the store and have a thick mask on. And people actually have to make an appointment to work out now, is that correct? Yeah, so you have to go online, make an appointment to reserve your spot, and you can reserve it 24 hours in advance. How long of a time window do you get to work out? You can pick one or two hours. Okay. So once you're here, and let's say we've been a couch potato, maybe <laughs> we're getting our walks in, maybe we're doing some sit-ups, but other than that, that's about it. What should we be focusing on before we even attempt to do those heavy deadlifts? Well, you should come in and be patient first because you're not going to have the same strength you had before. You're not going to be kind of jumping right into your PRs. So the main thing is to make sure that you're being really patient um, and kind of starting off really small and simple. And we want to maybe stretch and do easier movements with maybe resistance bands. Can you elaborate? Yeah, so the three things you really want to do is one, start with a resistance band. It's super simple. Uh, you're going to really create a little bit of tension in your workout, which is something that, again, sitting at home, you're not used to doing. Um, so it's something to kind of amp you up a little bit more. The other thing is just doing simple body weight exercises. So if you're just doing a simple squat, just using your body weight, and you just want to be consistent with it, and you can add a band for difficulty. And the last thing as we talked about is stretching it is so important in recovery. Uh, so we also have some foam rollers available for you to foam roll before and after your workout. And this is almost like your own personal massage. Let's say I need something on my back that yep, I need to loosen up. You find that knot, you stay there, you let it release, and then you kind of move on to the next spot. So it's really important to do before and after your workout. All right. We also want to show off something new you guys have completed yes, here. Tell us about pool. this. So the pool is brand new, beautiful. Um, and with the COVID restrictions, we do ask just to have one swimmer per lane, uh, but you do not have to wear a mask while you're swimming. Okay. And again, you guys are very thorough with your cleaning. You've actually hired more staff to uh, continue that process. Yeah, absolutely. We always have at least one person out on the floor cleaning. If not two, we have cleaning crews. And then we have the electrostatic sprayers that can actually disinfect the whole gym that we use every single day. All right, EOS Fitness, they are officially open. We are going to continue to see more gyms uh, reopen in the coming weeks. So best words of advice, keep it slow, start easy, small movements. Don't go for the 30-pound dumbbells for your curls. Curls for the girls. <laughs> Maybe start out with 10 pounds. I'll yeah. back to you guys. Especially if you were at 30 pounds before you're not there now if you haven't been in the gym in all this time no. so <laughs> keep it cool you'll get back to where you need to be kim thank you for that <laughs>